Hey guys, what's up? It's Enrique and this is Easy Things to Draw. I'm out and about today. What I'm doing is something I used to do a lot. And that is, I'm out in a public location and I'm gonna be sitting and sketching some people, you know, for practice. Kinda like a life drawing. I'll talk my way through it. This is, I'm at USD today. This is uh, University in San Diego. I think it's University of San Diego, USD? A really cool college. It is on top of a hill. Anyways, I'm gonna talk to you through this video and uh, see if we can uh, have some fun all right so um, I started this drawing out first thing I want to talk about is uh, this is actually my first time drawing out and about with a camera uh, and honestly I haven't really kept up with drawing people I'm gonna doing this made me really want to go out on my own and do it more in public places uh, I picked the school location because I thought to be uh, and actually I picked the school location later in the day on purpose because I wanted it to be not so overcrowded that I couldn't find a seat, you know, because I really, to set up to record, I needed, a, I needed a table in front of me because I set up a little tripod over my camera, which is kind of causing a shadow right now. It's kind of screwing me over. I'm aware. I'm very sorry uh, for this quality of this. And I'm also very sorry that I recorded this in po uh, portrait mode. I got to do landscape next time. So please bear with me on that. I'm really sorry. And... Uh, <clears throat> You know, there's there's a few things that kind of came to my mind. You know, for one, I haven't done it on my own in a while, uh, and I will tell you the runtime. I think it's about two, three, two, two hours. I was there about, you know, in two hours, if I was on my own with my own sketchbook, I could easily get a few. Uh, I don't know. I could get like maybe twenty to thirty drawings, depending on how long each are. You know, I could get a lot. I can get a lot done in two to three hours, or uh, two hours, whatever. I think it was two in a bit. And, but because I had to carry the camera around, and I guess there was walking involved, that, that does, you know, finding a spot, finding somebody I don't think, I think is, uh, you know, a good, good target per se, like someone's not looking directly at me, you know, so they, uh, so there's gonna be a lot of profile shots. Um, you know, that takes time, honestly, especially in this school. So I wanted to go to a point where it wasn't so crowded, but also uh, it was, you know, just enough people walking around where I could pick my my you know people to draw. Uh, this girl's really into her computer. Oh no, uh, this girl's really really into her computer, so it wasn't too hard. Uh, the cool part about drawing people candidly, right? Because honestly, I tell my uh, non-artist friends, why would you do that? That's creepy or something, you know. And I'm like, come on. But a lot of people realize it's fun, you know. You draw people for fun, and <clears throat> it's a good exercise because you don't know when they're gonna get up and leave. You know, you have no clue. So mostly what I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to get enough down so that if they were to get up and leave, I would have enough to finish the drawing on my own, you know. And that by that I already traced out the arm, you know, you know, I traced out a lot of stuff already, you know. And I tried to get her face in as soon as possible because that was the most important to me. And then I can always just like add her hands, doing whatever, you know. But I just remember they're on a computer. Uh, very minimal moving too. A lot of it was just like her hunching her back more, stuff like that. She didn't really move a whole lot. You know, I had several people just kind of get up in the middle. Like, I mean, not middle. Middle's fine, but like early on, you know, they get up. It's like, damn, you know, like forget it. <laughs> I don't want to continue that. And uh, I actually went up to this person afterward and I told her I was drawing her just to kind of, you know, see her reaction. I used to do that back in the day. Not like in a creepy way. You just say, hey, um, you know, it's for an art project. Uh, you know, I just drew you and I asked her, can I get a picture of you, you know, from where I was sitting so that I could show people what I was looking at? And, uh, yeah, she said no. <laughs> she did not like that at all. So that did not go well. <clears throat> in fact, she looked at me kind of confused and, uh, almost offended, you know, in a way. <laughs> uh, you know, not a good reaction, but whatever. You know, how often do you guys draw in, uh, how often do you guys do this? Because I know almost all my artist friends go out and draw, sketch people on their own, you know. It's really good. Let me know in the comments. Um, more more about this, though. The school itself, and this is a USD, it's on a mountain. It's on a pretty high mountain. So the problem was that there's no guest parking. 
So I had to park way across the street. And that was terrible. That was like a, oh man, I took 20 minutes just to get to the school, just walking. And it was hot. It was really hot that day. So I was already pretty much sweaty and tired by the time I made it here. And it's already kind of a downer in my mood. But, you know, I had to do it. It's just something I do. Um, and most of it was carrying my, my tripod and laptop, really. Oh, uh, the other thing I wish I did was I wish I brought a bigger sketchbook, you know. Oh, see, I'm putting in the little, you know, chair in front of her, stuff like that. Uh, I'm trying to get enough down. See, like, this would be enough down where I could later go on to it. Like, this is what I ended up with. But later I could just go on to it, and if I want, I could render this whole thing out. But this is, it's just a sketch. It's for exercise, you know. You can make it as line art detailed or not as you want, you know. You could probably just uh, make it scribbles, you know, like scribblish kind of, like that very fancy scribblish stuff. I'll, I'll do that in another video. Um, I'm very... Um, I'm very disappointed with the amount of drawings I got done. I only got two on on video. I wanted to do more, but I mean, I, I think I started two or three other ones, but they left like very quickly, you know, very quickly. And, uh, you know, the thing is though, I have to find someone, find a table next to them or something because I have my tripod. I need to record it. So I need to set my tripod up. And it's such, it's such a pain, you know. So when I finally set up and then they get up, it's like, dang, you know, I didn't have to move around. So that was taking me forever. So I only got two drawings in like two hours. And the, each drawings were like 10 minutes, you know. <laughs> so you have to understand there's a whole lot of time in between there where I'm just doing what I, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand how that time went by. So this next drawing, I'm going to keep going here. Uh, I started a little bit more loose. Uh, I don't think I got through. I got through a decent amount of this drawing, but I didn't do it all the way through because she ended up getting up and leaving. It was somebody eating uh, out on the outside section, like outside patio section. And so I sat in the table next to her. Um, you know, one another thing that's uh, really funny about drawing uh, people in public uh, it's kind of out of people's reality, you know what I mean? I thought maybe somebody would notice. They'd be like, hey, what are you doing? Or blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, either good or bad way. They'd be like, hey, what are you doing? Or, you know, hey, what are you doing? You know, oh, well, that's cool. Uh, but nobody cared. <laughs> nobody cared at all. No, it's kind of totally out of people's reality that you'd be doing that, something like this, you know? I mean, they, they, I mean, if this person was to see that I was looking at her or whoever, they might be like, oh, that guy just likes me or something like that or just some weirdo. I don't think I'm looking weird though. Or uh, yeah, you know, honestly, I might look like a weirdo because I'm looking very intensely at them so I can draw them. You know what I mean? I'm probably making that hmm, you know, looking at them face, that concentrated face. They might think I am a weirdo. Um, but for me, as an artist, I'll always know if someone's drawing me because that's happened. You know, especially me going from an art school. Everybody at that art school was drawing people. You know, uh, I would def, I would always notice like the minute like up. Uh, that person's looking at me a certain way. I know, and I could tell he's scribbling, but he's not writing. You know, that person's drawing me. Um, it's pretty fun to watch. You know, people do that. But, uh, yeah, it was a really hot day. I The only reason I would do this... Uh, oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this in the earlier video. I consider this day kind of a failure. You know, I only got two drawings down, like, on, on video. I want to get at least five. That's my goal. At least five. And honestly, the next time I go out, I'm going to be get at least five no matter what. <laughs> Even if I have to stay there for eight hours. I want to get five. I don't know how long it's going to take me. You know? like, it should just take me under an hour to get five of these things, I think. Um, but yeah, I, that's the only reason I would come back to this school again to do this would be to kind of feel like I nailed it, you know, like, yeah, I got a good amount done. Because honestly, I just don't, f I feel like I have unfinished business at this school. I got to do this so location once more. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to do all the colleges and then maybe malls. Uh, I think colleges are a little more, more mellower than a mall. You know what I mean? Just my opinion. I don't know. Coffee shops are really mellow. I might, I'm going to start doing that as well. But I want to make this maybe, I, I want to say weekly, but I don't want to promise anything. But I want to do these... These will probably be infrequent, I think. I'm just going to try to do these to my best of my ability. Um, right here, I'm starting mostly with the front of her face. I usually start in the eyes whenever I do anything. She had these funky, thick glasses on that really kind of threw me off in the beginning there. 
And uh, this is sped up, I think, at 200%. It's not too much faster than the way I really did it. I mean, I was just really noodling around, you know. So this is a point where my camera ended up dying, so you didn't see the middle parts. Uh, I did draw uh, a lot of her. I started trying to get into the ear, you know, you start getting that tertiary stuff. Where in the beginning you just want to get the broad shapes, stuff like that. You know, folds. Uh, I sh Like I said, I should have brought a bigger sketchbook. So um, let me talk to you about uh, what I kind of learned overall. I did kind of talk about it already. I've been kind of rambling, I'm sorry. But uh, for the next trip, I'm going to recap. For the next trip, absolutely, I am going to get more. Uh, I'm going to get a bigger sketchbook, uh, not carry my laptop, uh, go a little bit earlier in the day, uh, pick my locations faster, I notice. i got to stop noodle, like really like being too picky, you know what I mean? I just got to just keep doing it. And then uh, also I'm going to park a lot closer to my location uh, and I think I also need a new tripod anyways guys that's about it I hope you kind of enjoyed this little experimental video I do I'm gonna do more of these because honestly I find a lot of joy out of these and I hope maybe you guys do too if you do please uh, you know like the video and uh, I'll talk to you another time see you later